This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN and Shopify people. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, hello, my name is Aaron today, and I'm here with the one, the only, Mr. Andrew Flashcorn. But it doesn't matter what my name is. What matters is who's in this film, and that is The Rock. So I had to get that out. It's the wrestling fan in me. It's okay. I'm a wrestling fan at heart, too. This Good is to going to be Rampage Beer watching today, starring what he said, the one, the only, Mr. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You guys, leave a like on this video. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thank you so much to Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. Full-length reaction watch-alongs where you can sync up with your own copy available for you super sexy rejects are over on patreon greg and john cover several shows over there with exclusive highlights and watch-alongs included for you i like Dwayne the rock johnson he likes Dwayne the rock johnson so we're gonna see what this movie's all about y'all are you guys ready are you ready i'm ready i'm so ready i'm gonna raise my eyebrow mm. i don't know how to raise my eyebrow you gotta practice in the mirror just Eyebrow raises. All right, we're ready to get rampaged. Yeah, my only experience with this, I did play the video game just a couple times from my recollection, the N64 game, but it was so long. I almost don't remember. I just remember destroying some buildings. Yeah, I remember seeing the boxes and like, wow, it was yeah. like a fun game. Yeah. Yeah. And- Oh no. Mission control, this is Atkins. The crew is dead. To reroute to the lab and secure the canisters before departure. But the test subject is loose. The test subject is a rat. Not anymore. Ah! Whoa. Wow, what a way to start a movie to suck you right in. What is this? You have your orders, Doctor. Open the goddamn door! Dr. Atkins, it's Claire Wyden. We'll unlock the escape capsule when you secure the samples. That's cold. <laughs> Either you come home with my research, or you don't come home at all. Damn. Wow, it's so messed up. I know, but she's got to go in there and deal with <laughs> priorities. The rat. Am I right? However big the rat is that we saw in that half a second it passed the camera. Take it down. Ooh, is that a hand just floating? Mission control security. Copy that. I hope she quits after this. We gotta slap them first and then quit if she's able to survive this. <laughs> right. That's priority number one. Get that, that clean slap in. Warning. Call in critical. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. What the? What the porcupine rat? Nope, nope, nope. One, well, no part of that. No, thank you. He's gonna break. He's gonna break in. No, hope not. Oh, good. Did good, it escape good, good, with good. her though? I hope not. That'd be really sad. Almost had some alien vibes to it. I like it, Andrew. Who's that actress? I believe that's Marley Shelton. Who's in the Sandlot? Scream Four, Scream Five. This is why he's here. He knows yeah. he's. There. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, chick. Burning up on re entry. No. But the, the samples survived, though. I know that bald head. Mm, love that smell. Brings me right back to Uganda. Huey? Oh, there we go. We got. Jack Quaid is in this one? Two Scream 5 actors in this film, apparently, now. Oh, wow. They call me El Diablo. I know they don't speak Spanish, but they might as well. You ever see a blood diamond? Yeah. No, I know it's about diamonds, but it really captures the vibe. Don't mess with Mother Africa, you know. Another actor from The Boys, too. The director. Everything okay, boss? No, it's not. Don't move a muscle. Junior here is dropping a lot of monkey shit with these made-up stories. (laughs) (laughs) I love the way he delivered that line. (laughs) Regardless, if you had any experience with poaching, you would know that it's extremely rude to talk about it in front of a lady. It's okay, I can handle it. Well, I know you can. I'm talking about these ladies. Is this the sequel to Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle? <laughs> it feels, I mean, I... Pretty much. Could be. 
Wow, Andrew, this is the second movie we're watching together that involves monkey slash prime apes. Oh, right, right, 28 days later. Yeah. Right? yeah. Tell me what you see. The young male is attempting to establish his presence with the female. He's posturing, agitated. <laughs> Sounds like someone we know, right? <laughs> Pablo? <laughs> Pablo, it's okay. Femi Inu on station. <laughs> No, that, that means rock. That does not mean it's me. <laughs> Good boy. So that means rock? Rock. Of course it means rock. Look at who's saying it. Well, yeah, I guess that's, it, it is true. It's me. He's the rock. So I guess that's, <laughs> that's meta. I mean, it makes sense. If you move, we're going to be in big trouble. Connor, do not move. Connor, do what he says. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. He's going to freak out. He's going to freak out. Dude. Bravo. No. Bravo. Uh. Oh. 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 Oh, protected him. The albino one. Connor. Connor. It's okay. George. 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 Of the jungle? Uh-huh. Oh, very funny. It's very funny. <laughs> you and I laughing at your joke, okay? New guy, he no laugh. He cry. Yeah. Oh, he looks so good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's, he's, he's not going to kill me? No, he's not going to kill you. He has a unique sense of humor. I could... It's a good thing he's wearing the brown pants. It's important for you to be nice to Pablo. He's just a kid. Oh. Poachers killed his entire family. He's in your troop now. I want you to welcome him. Welcome, Pavo. Welcome, Pavo. George, you and I cool? I probably did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I should never have taught you that. Stop that. Uh -huh. Now, come on. Now, get my Did you guys teach him the eyebrow raise? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be extra impressive. I need you to protect Pavo. Family. Family? Like, is this the right franchise? I thought The Rock was already in that franchise. <laughs> this is the spinoff. Ah. It's a really good look, good looking ape, though. Yeah, for sure. The effects are great. That was amazing. Thank you. And I would love to learn more about those submission techniques. Mm -hmm. If you have time for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Jeez. I'm sure she would. Jeez, that's... Uh, subtext with for the lip bite and everything. Yeah, that's subtext for I want some. <laughs> right. Uh, she used the word submission. That's a clue. <laughs> it's a blues clue. <laughs> Is that the space? Or... I would imagine that was the ship. The samples. Or I could do my comic book reference and say it's Venom. Venom! Very good. I mean, All visually, the visually speaking, it does look kind of, you know, look like Venom. No, kind of, yeah. Oh, George, be careful, buddy. Oh, uh -oh. got that spray on him. Got spritzed with the, the alien spray. Oh, yeah, we saw that rat. He was definitely a lot bigger and viler looking. Got your message about George, you okay? I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? Davis, he's in the grizzly enclosure. The grizzly enclosure? Because that boy got big. Jesus. We killed the bear? Oh, my God. Jeez. So you know who would win in a fight between a bear and a gorilla? Well, yeah, and I'll, also, also too, we gorilla. saw like the rat was going crazy. I was gonna say going ape shit. What happened? I went on rampage. <laughs> oh my god, George! He looks bigger, right? He's yeah. a lot bigger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it me or is he considerably bigger? Okay, that was my reaction. Yeah, no, he's huge. He was like way down. Yeah, before. What the hell happened? We were doing our morning rounds when we saw the burnt foliage and uh... I wonder how many other animals were infected. What is it? You gotta figure it out. Station! Are you done? 
We just lost billions of dollars, Claire. It's funny, I was just singing a song from Watchmen. Here's, what is it, Malene Ackerman or whatever her name is. Atkins got the research samples onto the escape pod. Canisters were engineered to withstand re-entry. And the American Meteor Society just reported a meteor strike in southern Wyoming. All we have to do is go get it back. They seem like warm-hearted people that care about it a lot. Oh yeah, they're they're real uh, charity cases. There's a reason we were doing these experiments in space, and it wasn't exactly for the betterment of humanity. What? I'm sure. Oh, did you see that? The Rampage video <laughs> came? Ah. It's very meta. Remember that private military firm we acquired last year? That's so funny. We called them Killers or Us. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's the us. It kind of reminds me of everyone's favorite video game movie, Double Dragon, where they had, did you ever see that one? Years ago, maybe? Uh, they uh -huh. actually had the video game of Double Dragon in the film towards the end of the film. Oh, really? It's like, this is really meta. I don't think I've <laughs> having, seen Double having Dragon. Having your own arcade game in the movie itself. I love it. Oh, yeah. I feel like they'd have to make some direct reference to it, even yeah, if it it's isn't just in the a background. It's a fun Easter egg. Hey, Joe Maganello. Don't you mean Deathstroke? We gotta Death get my Stroke com. Himself. I gotta get my com. Oh, the Deathstroke that never happened. <laughs> well, he had one appearance. He had Justice League. Or one I guess or I another. could call him Flash Thompson, Spider Man. Are we gonna see Deathstroke versus Black Adam right now? Oh, right. There you go. Shit. Another Naomi Harris film we're doing. What? I know I've already been late twice this week, but it will not happen again. Wow. So we got monkeys and Naomi Harris. That's our bread and butter right there. <laughs> <laughs> These were brave and brilliant men and women of science who are committed to helping mankind, and we will continue that work in their honor. That's enough. Thank you. Helping mankind, my ass. Yeah, that's what we said. <laughs> Matic video of a fireball touching down near the San Diego Wildlife Sanctuary. However, it's unclear if this is related to one of the park's gorillas escaping the enclosure at the sanctuary earlier. Rear gorilla escapes. Oh, hold on a second, Mark. The car ahead of me, it, it just uh, exploded. What? <laughs> yep. That was a good improv. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth. I'm sure I'll buy it. I mean, it can happen. You know, it happens, yeah. you know? Oh. I'm sure we'll find out more about that. <laughs> no. Last time. No further contact. Yeah, yeah, right. We secured the canister, but it was pretty badly damaged. Whatever was in it was destroyed. There's something else. These wolves were slaughtered. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like another one killed the pack. It's affected with the pathogen. Burke, I need that wolf dead or alive. The super wolf. Is that a Robocop reference? <laughs> he killed a grizzly bear, okay? He snapped his neck like it was a toothpick. Listen, protocol says first sign of aggression mandates immediate isolation. It's what we're doing. Look at him. I'm looking at him. Really look at him. He's in pain. All right, everybody, listen up. I need to find someone who knows exactly what the hell this thing is. I found her. Help me, her. Yep, yeah, there. I'm a geneticist with Energene. You recovered my research sample. Yeah, you mean this? Please tell me you have that tested for residual particulates. And I always do that. Anytime something new comes in, <laughs> Amy, have this uh, tested for residual particulates? <laughs> what the hell is that thing doing to my friend? Uh, well, I am... Not at liberty. He's growing, isn't he? At an unprecedented rate, right? Demonstrating levels of aggression you don't see in his species. Come with me. If you want to live. Last night he was seven feet, 500 pounds. This morning he's almost nine feet, pushing a thousand. Jeez. Yeah, he's not by now. As far as I know, he's the only living gorilla of his kind. He, he can sign? Yeah, he can sign and he's hungry. Guys, let's get George something to eat. I mean, that much weight, he's gonna need a lot more food now. Oh yeah. Are you familiar with CRISPR? Uh, it's more like genetic editing. Sharks are indeterminate growers. Isolate that gene and combine it with, say, the growth rate of a blue whale, the strength of a rhinoceros beetle. And you get one confused gorilla that can take down. Jeez, that just sounds like a bad idea. I mean, it sounds like a good idea for a movie, but a bad idea for real life. Yeah. Splicing. I am the only one who can cure him. <laughs> I don't know how much longer that place is going to hold him. George, no! I'm going to guess about 2.5 more seconds. Yeah, if that. Everybody back! Well, yeah, she did say it makes him more aggressive. This is true. She didn't warn you. George! Stop! George! Davis! Call 911. 
Oh, <laughs> the dog's barking at him. <laughs> oh, special edition King Kong. Let's go. Okay. Yes. I know you're scared. I'm going to help you. I always thought that meant stop. I'm the primatologist here. I look after this animal. It's okay. Come. Good. Right, stand down. Don't worry, buddy. I'm going to help you. Oh, it's just going to make him aggressive hearing that noise. Oh, yeah, it's the mercenaries. Mm -hmm. They're going to shoot him. He's going to jump at the, helip the helicopter. Don't do that. Don't do that, guys. Oh no, he's slowing him down. That is a tranquilizer. It actually worked, I'm surprised. Yeah, but George is smart as hell. So when he does come to eventually, is he going to trust The Rock anymore, even though The Rock had nothing to do with the tranquilizing? Maybe. I think he, The Rock's going to be the only thing that keeps him anchored to like yeah. who he is. You think George is going to die? I think he's going to go back to little, being little. <sighs> I hope not, but I mean... That wolf is oh, super huge. Wolf. Ooh, I don't think that was a trank. Rampage one is down. Say so rampage one is down. I think that's what he said. That was quite a shot too. That speed. That's not an easy target to hit when you're in the helicopter and that the moving target like that. What do you got? Nothing yet. Wait. You asked me if George is going to survive. I don't see those two surviving. Probably not. It depends on I how see, much of a dick he is. I, I see these two being taken out in the building. Oh, those two are going to die. I thought you were talking about Joe Maganello. No, I am And at those two in, in a building, I oh. see them being taken out. Oh, yeah. No, they're, they're garbage people. They're going to die. Boss. Ah. Damn it. You don't get scared. What? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, wonder why. God. Oh my god. This is a super, super beast. Are you hunting it or is it hunting you? What the hell? I like that they're showing the cameras are being taken out. Whoa. Come on, get it. They won't. Pathogen is doing what we designed it to. Yep. Maybe you should have kept it in space. Oh. Trying to get money. That, that literally was a video game shot right there. Hmm. First person shooter. Yeah, I can see that. First person shooter. Dwayne Johnson appears in the Doom adaptation, which features a first person shooter sequence Easter egg. Taylor. Taylor's dead, buddy. I'm sorry. You should have stayed on the helicopter. Didn't you I watch? Pre didn't you watch Predator One? Clearly, this guy did not. He or has Predi a death wish. Or I guess Predator. Sorry. Singular. Now Ooh. where is that wolf? Damn. Damn. Isn't this PG thirteen? I'm surprised they're showing uh, some of this stuff. So. I believe it is. <laughs> Oh, it has like the spikes, kind of how the rat had the spikes. That's right. Oh. I wonder how long that rat had been infected. I take it not, ah, because I guess the, the size transformation is relative it, to the it, animal yeah. itself, right? Well, that, that, I'm sure that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I stand. Yo. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Dude, slicing it with the. the Yo, that's crazy. Damn. That didn't even affect it getting sliced by the, the uh, rotors. Dude, got that uh that super healing. Okay, I guess I stand corrected. You should not have stayed on the helicopter. Don't do that. That's how you survived, buddy. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Later, bro. I've, I think he's accepted his reality. Or his fate, right? No, he can make it. He's going to be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I thought he's Joe Maganello. <laughs> That's Joe. Sorry, we we don't get to see uh, Black Adam versus. I thought he was uh, going to survive longer than that. Deathstroke in this. Yeah, I did too. Oh, rip, rip, Deathstroke. I definitely thought he was going to survive longer than that too. At least for the rampaging portion of when buildings think, are being right? taken out and all that. Well, I think also too, it just drives uh, the stakes up and shows like nobody is possibly safe. But even though he's not, I don't know if you would call him the main character because we literally just met him like about seven eight minutes ago but Barely big, act, big actor i guess big actor yeah no I, that's a great way to establish stakes though yeah 
Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Hey, it's Negan. Thomas Wayne. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I had to. Hell of a day, huh? Science experiments falling from the sky. Giant gorilla on the loose. Just the kind of exciting shit we here at the government tend to notice. <laughs> I feel like he just came off the set of Walking Dead. Right. Still got that Neganism in him. I said I want to see George. Or we can get in each other's faces and see who's the toughest. Brother, I'm going to go prance myself awesome. right out on the limb and guess that no one's ever accused you of being a people person. <laughs> I'll see you on board. Load <laughs> him up with the eight. Uh, is that going to be able to hold in? For a little bit, until yeah. he grows again. Davis Sequoia, primate specialist, army special forces. But what are you, some kind of international man of mystery? I see a lot. He's Austin Powers? <laughs> Let's cut the bullshit, Russell. I told you, having George on this airplane is... He's on a very powerful sedative drip. He will not wake up until we wake him up. I doubt that. At his rate of growth, that sedative is going to become ineffective long before we're back on the ground. We factored in his growth rate, same as his elevated metabolism, Sir. and the increased amount of blood in his system. We're doing all right. That's not a government official gun. Is his gun right there? That's like his own personal one? Yeah, and this has a nice shiny belt buckle, too. Yeah. Weirdos on the internet? They're calling him Ralph. Who do you work for? Well, sir, I work for the American people. Homeland CIA. I think that's a reference to the game. Oh, that Ralph. It's called Ralph. Again, I, I played the game so long ago for a couple, uh, just a couple times, so I don't I don't remember all the Easter eggs and references. I just remember destroying some stuff. Okay, she helped engineer the pathogen that infected George. She works for Energy. You mean used to? She a rebel. Dr. Kate Caldwell, recruited by Energy in 2010, fired by Energy a little less than two years ago. Why? Caught trying to steal company hard drives and did 13 what I'm sure were glorious months in our beautiful Greenville Federal Correctional Institute. Dang, she's in jail. I am guessing by the look on the big fella's face that this is all news to him. They really haven't even known each other that long, so it's not like this big betrayal or anything. That's a good point. It's not like he got to know her or anything. Right. They met she, in like was, the last scene. Yeah. George broke out. Yeah. And then they got yeah. he was on just, this plane. She was, she was just there to help and explain what was happening to George. So it's not like. Sorry, I lied to you. I, I mean, did you? You don't know this dude. Can you cure George or not? That's really what you were there for. <laughs> he feels so betrayed. He's so hurt. I know that Energy was working on a countermeasure to the yes, capital. No. no. I mean, they were her samples at the end of the day, so it wasn't like right. a total lie. Look, like there's a scene missing between the last thing we maybe, saw. Maybe, maybe there was. Yeah, maybe there might be some del a deleted <laughs> scene or something. Kate Caldwell. What is she doing out there? Given our history with her, her blaming us for putting her in prison and the death of her brother. Okay, so that's her brother. I figured it was not her man. She's going to get with the rock. That's why she, uh, I would imagine, got into company sabotage. She blames them. If you have a plan, I would love to hear it. I always have a plan. All right, they're they're awful people, but it's comically hysterical how how bad they are. So it's like I don't mind it. Yeah, they're, the, they're cartoon villains. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't in, in this type of film. It doesn't it doesn't bother me. I'm, I actually appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> One small dose will stop an infected creature's growth and aggression. And to draw them here, the pathogen also genetically rewired the subject to respond to a low-frequency radio wave. Lucky for us, this building has some of the most powerful radio antennas in the world. Ooh. Turn on the signal, and those creatures will do anything to get here and make it stop. Are we going to get a sky beam? Do you remember for like a good six year period where like every movie had the sky beam? I think this happened within that six year <laughs> oh, period. Oh, is it? it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking Avengers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Michael Bay one, produced one. I mean, there were so many movies that did it. Tasm 1. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Amazing Spider Man, yes. <laughs> getting all up in is that, it, bus. Is that is that the wall oh my god ralph get ralph ralphie what a, oh this is the, this is the one that was in the water that was affected what the hell is Wait, that what is it godzilla damn it's fast I like that they hit it though that's cool is it like a jaws type of uh suspense yeah oh is he gonna hear it from up there I feel like he's going to stay, like, relatively 
the size till the the third act, and then it's gonna get like super big <laughs> out of nowhere. Oh, I stand corrected. He's gonna get big now. Oh, he's hearing that noise. Damn, is uh, is the plane going down? It's going down, down, and an earlier round. Oh crap. Uh, oh no. Run. Oh boy. No. no! <laughs> Oh, George liked to smash. Oh, smash ho, ho, ho. damn, they're dead. They're definitely dead. Well, yeah, he can heal, though, so I don't think those are going to really affect him. Yeah, much. it'll be fine. Come on. Let's drop in. Oh, oh yep. see how strong just I am? Let me just towards. rip this. All right, you have to be thrown into two situations. Ow. Either this or snakes on a plane. Which one do you choose? Uh, I'm still probably choosing this one, even though I'd prefer to be neither. I'm going to pick this one because he's not explicitly going after anybody. He's just, like, kind of freaking out. I feel like if I'm in the front of the plane, he wouldn't get me. I feel like I'd be fine. I would just stand by him. The ro oh, God. George. Put the government agent down. Well, I mean, he is down. Leave him alone, George. Now, why would you do that? Why would you do that? He's going to get you, buddy. He's going to rip you to shreds. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Uh, time to parachute out of there. That would all get sucked out of there so fast. George stuck on something or is he holding on? I can't tell. Oh, he's stuck on something. Oh. Ooh, that's going to hurt for a little bit. Hang on tight. With that attitude, <laughs> be more positive. You're so negative. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect sync. What about George? Save your boy. <laughs> George is like the betrayal. How dare How you? How dare you do this to me? How dare you save Jeffrey Dean Morgan? <laughs> Oh, damn. He feels betrayed. He gonna be mad at him. Holy shit! That, You're welcome! That's definitely uh, an interesting <laughs> way to wake up. Is, 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 that's CGI. I thought the same thing. I was like, this is this CG rock right now? Well, the last time I saw bad CGI like that with the rock makes me think of The Mummy Returns. Or Scorpion when, King. Scorpion King. I remember in the, I mean, it's not that bad, but I remember. No, in the, I think it's just the, the cam. Yeah, the yeah, cam yeah. Yeah. It's a weird angle. I just remember in the theater seeing The Mummy Returns, which mm -hmm. I still enjoy that film, even though the first one was better. But I remember when the CGI rock and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, it's better than I could do. And I'm not a visual effects guy, but damn, that is. But, uh, yeah, you know it's bad CGI. That is not very good. Now, luckily, for the most part, the movie CGI has been pretty good. Oh, no, this, the, this movie, the CGI has been very good so far. It was just that one was a little bit noticeable <laughs> where's the body he's escaped he wants retribution on you you can take him down he's got a healing factor he's wounded but he survived tracks are headed northeast once dod figures out your animals survived that crash they're gonna have questions for you too thank you for getting this old cowboy off that plane well even assholes deserve a second chance <laughs> <laughs> like my grandpappy always said us assholes gotta stick together jeffrey dean morgan is so charming he really is <laughs> should be in more movies. The gorilla survived the crash. The gorilla doesn't concern me. I don't respond to the radio frequency. It comes straight to us. I think I saw a Michael Jordan jersey in there, too. I wouldn't be surprised. They're very rich. FBI, this is a warrant for a complete search of your company's records, starting with your lab. Follow me. <laughs> it's so funny how panicked he is about going to jail. <laughs> Are you guys either going to die or go to prison for a long uh, time? I'm, I'm leaning on the dying one. <laughs> We are horrified that what's happening up there originated in this lab. We need access to everything. Something tells me they're going to tamper with it and give them something. Or if this movie is really bold, they they take the serum themselves and they fight. 
<laughs> we're going through the files of the scientists responsible for these creatures. Dr. Kate Caldwell, we're just now uncovering all the horrible things she was doing during her time here. Oh, are they trying to pin it on Caldwell? That's what it looks like. Smart. I mean, it's shitty, but smart. What do we do now? I'm sorry, Doc. There's no we anymore. You lied to me after one scene. conversation scene. I am sorry I lied to you. You wanted something, you lied to get it. You're human. What makes you dislike people so much? I fought in wars all over the world. And I got to see how people really are. You know where I found George? He was hiding underneath the poacher's truck. Backstory? When my team arrived, these birds were in the middle of butchering his mother. Oh. They were cutting off her hands so they could sell them as ashtrays. Oh. Disgusting. George never would have survived on his own. A bino like that on the black market is worth a fortune. So I took him with me. And what happened to the poachers? Well, they shot at us. They missed. I laid the smack down on them. After college, I was using CRISPR to help endangered species in the Arctic. Then my brother got sick. Doctors told him he didn't have much of a chance. But I knew CRISPR could save him. Oh. Claire Wyden showed up. She made me her lead genetic researcher. But what I didn't know is that every time I'd make a breakthrough that could help my brother, they were secretly using it to build weaponized DNA. Okay. I tried to destroy it. Security just got to me before I could finish the job. Oh, man. A month after I went to prison, my brother died. <sighs> Damn. They did that to her, and now they're trying to pin this whole thing on her, too. Oh. I just want to make sure God. the Wyden's can't hurt Her life's great. Anything. Everything. Life is fun. Also, they're wonderful people, too. <laughs> As we mentioned many times. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. It's okay that you lied to me in the beginning. Now we we understand each other. <laughs> this film is actually really entertaining. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Get in position to box the bed. Target the eight clicks out and moving fast. Ooh. George is with the wolf. You engaged the gorilla, sir? Got him surrounded in a quarry about 30 miles outside Chicago. Also, too, that one in the water is going to, at some point, join forces with Two different species making a coordinated long-distance journey. That just doesn't happen. This is David Sequoia. He's a primatologist. These two know more about these creatures than anyone on this planet. I think you need to hear what they have to say. This reminds me of Godzilla 98, where they brought in Matthew Broderick. They needed his expertise. <laughs> A wolf and a gorilla would be attacking each other. They wouldn't be traveling in a straight line to the same destination. Then why are they going to Chicago? Because they're being called. Energy must be emitting some kind of signal to draw them there. Those creatures will do anything to get to that signal and make it stop. Colonel, you have to evacuate Chicago. Yeah, that should be easy. The FBI has requested that you remain here. These gentlemen will see you after. You're making a big mistake, Colonel. Well, if they listen to them, we won't have a third act, <laughs> True. right? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Why would you listen to smart people? Who does that? I'm a former team guy. Let's not do this thing where you get in my face, you threaten me, because I'm going to have to knock you out. I'm going to choke you out so bad you're going to urinate yourself. Let's go. Hey. Oh, hey, he gave them foreshadowing. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> Sleep. So what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for a helicopter, but preferably one that's not surrounded by military personnel. And they probably have a grounded medevac chopper at the hospital. And that's why you always bring a doctor. They didn't take the clothes. They didn't do that that trope. Uh, I think the rock would have. I like, was gonna say I don't know if he's gonna fit. I don't into, know if he's gonna fit. He's like, probably like way stronger. Than oh yeah, he just like guys. rip it. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Well, 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 looky here, stealing the hospital Whirlybird. He's gonna let them go. I feel like. They must have an antidote at energy that can halt the mutations. You know, if we get our hands on it, it could be our only shot to stop George and the wolf before they level Chicago. Throw her them the keys to the... They don't just leave keys under the visor. It's like, this isn't Terminator 2 Judgment Day. <laughs> We're on the same page when it comes to the Widens. They think they're above the law. And I want to remind them that they ain't. I really like this character. He's so <laughs> fun. I love this guy. Clear the fire. Like that we talk about the... Ah! <laughs> I don't think that probably did anything. I say again, we know we're out of Ooh. Oh. Captain Evans. What happens when you underestimate your opponent? I want ground artillery rolling into downtown Chicago ASAP. It's time we throw everything we can at these things and get people the hell out of that city. Yeah. They are evacuating Chicago. <laughs> I do love that they're teaming up with him. That's yeah, cool. Right. They're never going to get everyone out of the city in time. <laughs> you think? Do you know how many days that would take? <laughs> Third act, here we come. 
Also, too, we got the waterfront, so we know that other creature's coming, too. So we got um, three. Yeah. We got three creatures. Three creatures? I'm hoping two of them don't survive, though. The water one and the wolf and George gets to survive. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I hope yeah. they all survive. You mean because there are unfortunate circumstances for all of them? I'm just saying if it comes down to that, um, that's what I would hope. Oh at least, God, at least they're George. messing stuff up. If I remember the poster correctly, I thought George would be a lot bigger. Oh, I do remember Ooh. doing that in, in the Rampage video game. Like the, <laughs> with the military. Yo. Damn. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. oh. Ooh. Ooh. That, I'm not going to lie. That was sick. Where's Warthog 1? Inbound, sir. Warthog 1, you are cleared on. Roger that. Whoa, slick move, George. Oh, is that the water creature? Oh, definitely. Is that a ship? It's underwater, sir. We don't have any subs in the area. Uh, oh, I can't wait for the reveal of what it looks like. Damn, it's gonna be humongous. There's something big in the river. They did say the... Uh, no, how's it going on land? Whoa! Oh, it's a turtle! Is it? It's a turtle! Alligator? Crocodile? I can't see. I... Crocoturtle? Alligator. Whoa! All forces of that thing now! Oh. Holy... Yeah, it's a gator. Oh. Oh! That thing's clearly the biggest out of all of them. Why would you get so low and so oh, close? Oh, woof. I would do that from a distance. All right. Ooh. They can't stop them. We got to get that antidote. I thought he was going to say, but I can. <laughs> <laughs> In a different movie, maybe. Yeah. If you drop that bomb, not only do you wipe out half a city, but you destroy any evidence. And I need you to drop the cowboy bullshit and get with the program. We just can't stand leaving our friends behind. Get your ass out of here. It's like, I can't take the bureaucracy here. Where to? 85th floor. Lab's in here. Damn it. It's okay. I'm strong. I'm going to break this down. Well, Lab's are 30 minutes out, give or take. Just want to take out five city blocks. You better move. I'm never taking a call again. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, something about the mother of all bonds is on its way. We need to hurry. See? Mm -hmm. Everything in the lab is on one system, but there's a back door into the server, so we should be able to access every file. I was thinking the same thing. Oh, totally. We have visitors. They erased everything connected to the project, but it's here. Sometimes brains is better than bronze. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's like one of those samples from the beginning, right? Is that the cure? Not a cure, exactly. R19 doesn't revert them to their normal size. It just overrides their unchecked aggression. Nice to see you, Kate. Go to hell, Claire. <laughs> now why don't you hand those over? Let's go. That's not happening. Oh. Oh, damn. oh. Now let's go. It's okay. He'll be back. Oh, yeah. She didn't kill him for yeah, some well, reason. Well, I, I think she figured he was probably... But clearly, he knows how to sell being dead. Yes, like the game. Get it get to the top. It's a race. Now get in unless you want to end up like your friend. <laughs> oh, boy, George is really big. Man, of course, of course, it's just wasn't a flesh die. wound. Maybe or, a flesh wound. Yeah. I thought you were dead. Well, I think she missed all the vital organs, but uh, don't jinx it. Now let's get yeah. that out of there. Come on. Save his wait. He's fine. I have one. For George? You give it to George, and maybe he can help us out the other two. You know, I'm actually glad you're both still alive. Now you can go up there and distract your friend while I get the hell out of here. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, nah. George! What the hell are you doing? What? Feeding the monster to the 
That was for my brother. Yo. He's gonna eat her? He's gonna eat her? Yo, that's crazy. Tastes like rich food to me. Knew she's gonna die. Who the hell are you? I'm the fella that was gonna run up those stairs to arrest you. But she. His worst fears. Going to jail. Going to jail. I'm actually glad I was wrong on that front that he's going to jail. You got a laptop in that bag there. You give it to me, and you can just get right out that door. Okay. This wasn't even my idea. Oh, God. Drop on him. Yep. I had a feeling. Yeah. Yep. That was a lot. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh Whoa. my god. This puts Man of Steel to shame. I was just thinking that in my head, but I didn't <laughs> want to say it because I'm sure the people have said too many comic book references from Andrew already. <laughs> How the hell did we get out this roof? We're going to jump because I'm the rock and I can still withstand it. Maybe we don't have to get off the roof at all. What? Oh, are they going to ride on George's back off the roof? What do you do if you want to fly? We're not going to fly. We're going to crash. We just need to get enough lift to stay on top of the building as it falls. You know, just like riding an avalanche. I'm so con- I'm- um, okay. <laughs> what? God. Just think of it as a really dangerous roller coaster ride. Oh my God! Whoa. Freeze! Oh my God. I would just pass out from my stomach dropping. Just hover enough for it to land on the building that's fallen. Got to give him points for creativity. Yeah. George, you okay? <laughs> My buddy. His friend. <laughs> He's back. Thank God. We're really going to keep you now, buddy. I know, but that nuke is on its way right now. Oh, I look like shit. Yep, that, huh? mean, that huh? means shit. <laughs> Stop him, George. Get him. Oh, no. I want you to take this Humvee and find a sap boat and get a hold of Russell. He's our only shot at calling off this airstrike. He's the only way. We gotta stop these things before they destroy the city. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Let's kick some ass. Should have said, let's lay the smack down on their candy asses. Like, how dare you betray us? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'll just watch George. Oh, what? hey, come and get me, you ugly son of a bitch. I'm gonna hide inside the building. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah, nice, nice. Ah. Oh, 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 that was completely an accident, but we'll take it. A win is a win. Oh, oh. A well, win is a win. One a down. A win is a win. One to go. Tell me what you're doing here. The antidote worked. Davis and George are trying to stop the other two, but there's still civilians and military on the ground. We have to call off the airstrike. Were they going to listen to him? Barack is like, George, I could really use your help. Break up the drone feed on Federal Plaza. It's me driving. Oh. Oh, damn. Dude, George is in it to win it. All right. No. Nice. Oh, that'll get him. Nice. That'll kill him. 
Well done. The Rock wins. Oh, uh, oh it does have a healing factor. <laughs> nice job, George. Oh, George! No! Buddy! God, I think it'll be okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Come on, take it out, take it out. Oh, you gotta move! <laughs> oh, no. Are the keys still inside on this one? Oh, okay, I guess they are. Oh, no. Mess with my friend, you mess with me, mother. <laughs> I wonder what he was gonna say before they cut out. No idea. Couldn't couldn't even give you a single guess. Just have to imagine. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Mother friend killer. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, probably that one. the building going to collapse on it? I'm, well, I don't think that's going to do anything. George is going to get him. Yes. Yes. Use that stick. Ooh, right in the head. Right in the, right the eye. In the eye. Woo! Yeah. Damn. Oh. There we go. Yeah, that will uh, that'll do it. That'll get him. George has had a lot of uh, injuries sustained. Abort mission. Oh no, George. Hey, buddy. Don't die, George. We save the city. Yeah. yeah you save me. That's right. That's friendship. That's how we do. Saved his too earlier. Damn, so all those people would have been nuked. George is a hero. Yes, he did. <gasps> oh, George. Did I just see you close your eye? I just saw you open your eye. Yeah, George. Son of a bitch. Pretending to be dead? You did that earlier. No, 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 it's not funny and I wasn't crying. We're friends, right? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I like George's sense of humor. Yeah, thanks for calling off the airstrike. The wise cat ward once said, us assholes gotta stick together. Then find George here in New Home. Where are we gonna put him? New York. Yeah. Where would you put him? <laughs> I guess in a jungle somewhere? I don't know. Hmm. No. Oh, so letting people, people down from the build. I like seeing the scope of that from far off. That looks oh cool. Oh my gosh, yeah. Rampage. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring, which is what we use for our merch store and is our game-changing partner in e-commerce. So whether you're launching a passion project or scaling to new heights, Shopify is the e-commerce powerhouse guiding you at every step. From creating your first online store to opening physical locations, Shopify makes it seamless. It's perfect whether you're selling exclusive merch or unique collectibles, thanks to their all-encompassing platform for both online and in-store sales. Their checkout system unmatched. It's 36% more effective at converting visitors into buyers than other platforms. And let's not forget Shopify magic, the AI tool that elevates your business with minimal effort. But seriously, reflecting on our journey using Shopify for www.rejectnationshop.com, it's been transformative. The transition, smooth, growth, exponential. Thank you again, Reject Nation. From simplifying sales to scaling our offerings, Shopify has been a cornerstone 
of our success. And Shopify isn't just for us. It powers 10% of US e-commerce, backing businesses big and small in over 175 countries. Their award-winning support always there to guide you. So ready to join the revolution? Sign up for Shopify at only a dollar a month at shopify.com slash rejects. All lowercase, shopify.com slash rejects. Start your Shopify success story now. Let's grow together with Shopify, team. Big thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video, a real game changer I've been using for years. That's right, years. So whenever they want to work with us, it's an instant yes. You've likely heard about ExpressVPN for online privacy and security, but there's more to it than that. However, there was a very real incident recently with Spectrum shutting down my internet and contacting me due to a suspecting hacking attempt. And funny enough, I realized I hadn't actually activated my ExpressVPN on my new laptop that I got a couple of months ago. So I was paying the consequences. Having faced a serious hacking issue on YouTube a couple of years ago, that made ExpressVPN my go-to for both security and freedom. I mean it. And yes, what you've heard is true. Believe me, this channel knows. You can use ExpressVPN to watch movies and shows on Netflix that are not available in your country. This means accessing a vast array of content of over 100 countries, like a global cinema at your fingertips. It's super easy. Open ExpressVPN, switch locations, refresh the browser, and there you have it. Whether it's K-dramas on South Korean Netflix, Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, or more, ExpressVPN has you covered. And it's incredibly fast, ensuring no buffering or lag for smooth HD streaming. It's versatile too, working on not just computers, but phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. This means you can enjoy your favorite shows on anywhere, any screen. Protect and elevate your internet experience. So if you want to get access to hundreds of new shows, use my link, expressvpn.com slash rejects. And you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash rejects. So head to expressvpn.com slash rejects to learn more. Thank you again. That was a rampage. I mean, look, it wasn't like super deep or anything, but I no. mean, I, 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 I had fun. It was entertaining. I mean, it, for what it was, it, it was fun and entertaining. I think my favorite part of the film, besides obviously the third act where we got all the action and rampaging stuff happening, uh, that really reminded me of the little bit I do remember from the video game. Again, it was a long time ago when I played it on N64, though I do remember fighting the army and all that stuff. Uh, the little bit I do remember, um, which again, visually speaking, I do I thought that was pretty cool stuff um i did you know the the emotional stuff between um george and davis the rocks character right uh yeah. I, I actually did appreciate that i know we didn't really go super deep into the backstory there with but like the little bit of, of the flashback there with the exposition from the rock saying how you know that uh, poachers were there to uh that took apart his mother and all that and then the rock saved him and that's what their their connection between them was like i actually like I've, i got the feels from that a little bit um and you know the made sense in, in the world why they are so close and bonded and connected with each other and you know explained uh, their whole relationship and i i actually appreciate it. that was my favorite part of the the entire film uh, on top of the third act of course like i just mentioned but um what'd you think of the film I thought this was the epitome of a summer blockbuster. Like, it wasn't trying to be more than what it was. It wasn't, it wasn't trying to be this super deep story or trying to break the mold in any capacity. But it was a lot of fun. You know, I thought the relationship between George and Davis was something that was, you know, I think The Rock really made that relationship what it was. And, like, the way that they animated the... Uh, George himself was really cool. I thought the CGI for the most part was yeah. not again not groundbreaking, like not like Avatar levels, but like it was really good for no, like what it was. You it know, it was Avatar level groundbreaking. <laughs> I oh, I, my mind well, was blown the entire it, time. It was good though. No, it was, it was good. Fun. And I thought even the the alligator and the uh, the wolf like that looked good, and even the rat at the beginning it uh, looked great. And I really that did actually appreciate too not revealing the alligator or crack or no. whatever that was. I appreciate that they kind of went the Jaws approach, not revealing it towards the end there um but yeah i mean like i said this was fun it was schlocky it was entertaining and like you said not super deep or anything and then i also i i don't care how how cartoonish and ridiculous they were i, I like the villains in this Just, they were dumb they, they were, were oh no it dumb. was dumb and yeah no, was cool. and when i say i like them i mean obviously you know they're awful people i you know i wasn't rooting for them or anything i i clearly wanted them you know their lives to be ended the way it did i thought that was perfectly characterized even though i, I was like why are you guys waiting so long to get out of here when you know they're clearly coming and all that um but um i just thought it was just so cartoonish it was hysterical that i actually appreciate it and for this type of film i just i don't know i just thought it was fine <laughs> the way it was portrayed the way their characters uh, were portrayed by those two actors um but yeah i actually uh enjoyed it and also too um i liked uh 
the characterization and the storyline we got for Naomi Harris's character. Although I thought it was kind of, uh, again, not looking super deep into it or anything. I thought it was like, we were like, was there a scene, a scene when she's like, you lied to me. And like, right. you know, because she just came into the, uh, into the, the wildlife zoo or wherever that he worked. And she just said, Hey, I'm, I'm here. Like, is he getting bigger? And like, there wasn't really much dialogue between them. And then like literally, Crap just went crazy after a few seconds, and then they were chasing George, and then uh, then they got you know on the plane and all that. It's like uh, you guys really don't know really yeah, about each there, other. There could like, have been more to just establish yeah, their relationship. Yeah, but like yeah. you're not going to film school to watch this movie. You right? Know? No, you're no, going no, to the no. Of course, to watch of course. You're taking of course. your family, you're taking the teens. I, you yeah, know? Yeah. I'm sure this would have been great in 3D. Yeah. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Also, Jeffrey Dean Morgan killed it. He, he was, was amazing in this movie. He was movie. great. Bringing that I, charm that he always brings. I feel like he just walked off the set of Walking Dead uh-huh. because he's just so charming and so yeah. so oozing with charisma when he's uh, playing yeah. Negan. So yeah, just I thought he was great. Uh, the, like you said, the villains, they're like kind of cartoony and like yeah. kind of, you know, they, they were exactly what they needed to be yeah, for, for this like type this. of film. Yeah. And even though he was uh, charming, like at first I was like, I'm not going to like, even though he, I'm going to like his performance charming wise, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, but I'm not going to like this character. I like the way he ended up developing. And then there was a connection between him and uh, The Rock and Naomi Harrison. Like, okay, there's a rapport and then they're going to work together, yeah. especially after uh, they saved him. And then, okay, I understand. Like, I actually do need you guys if we're going to like help each other in this type of situation. Like, I'm clearly out of my depths here because, you know, he, he thought that uh, George, he had George under control with sleeping. And then, okay, again, I'm clearly out of my depths i i really do need you guys here for this situation right right. um so i actually thought that was you know very uh you know organic in terms of the way that they all start to work together so i appreciate that and again uh, a good good little development for his character in terms of working with the rock and naomi harris but uh yeah i mean uh i i like i said for this type film i thought it was fun it was entertaining i think you summed it up best it's a fun summer blockbuster right? it's one of those you know like a like a fast and furious type of just turn your brain off have a good time summer blockbuster film if you, you look at it any differently it uh, might not be for you right and i don't know what this movie made box office wise because mm-hmm. I, I was aware of it when it came out but i didn't go to the seat the theater to see it but i will say i respect the movie for one knowing what it is and two being this one-off experience you know we don't need a rampage two or rampage three like we miss the days of just like a movie just standing on its own and being this experience and like who knows i think it leaves room for the imagination to see like what uh, the relationship becomes of between Naomi harris's character and the rock or what becomes of it comes of the new dynamic with him being so big and I guess permanently staying that way between George and Davis. So yeah, man, I don't I don't think I need another one. I don't know what the premise of another one would be. I feel like it'd probably be contrived if they try to do that. But well, you don't need Rampage too, but I need Rampage too. <laughs> I like need I- him to fight, I need him to go to space, fight other big <laughs> monsters. I was actually surprised there wasn't more monsters in the movie. The fact that there's only three big it- big guys i was yeah, like okay i mean probably like budget wise or like we can afford three we can, we'll limit it to three guys yeah. also the george is gonna be bigger but you know i thought it was, it was I, I was yeah i was you know what with the scope of the film and i don't know what the budget was like i thought three was fine and like what all the rampage and destruction even though it kind of happened pretty quickly uh the, that third act I was fine with three. I mean, I think it would have been a bit much with, especially with, I mean, whatever it was, like an hour and 40 minutes. I was okay with three. If they would have had more, I mean, fine. But it was easy to follow with three. Um, So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, overall, fun film. Uh, And I enjoyed, as always, I enjoyed uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He was, he's, entertaining as 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 always i mean he's it's always fun to watch a film with the rock so what would you rate it oh out of 10 um (laughs) uh i'd probably give this one like a a 7 out of 10 or something like a 6.5 7 out of 10 i I think i'm right around there too yeah Yeah. it's fun 6.5 to 7 yeah Yeah. it it was a lot of fun guys it was a good time but we want to know what you guys would rate it. Yeah, let us know what you guys think. Let us know in the comments. Sound off. Did you enjoy the reaction? Did you like the movie itself? What was your favorite part of the movie? Let us know. And let us and know if you want us to do San Andreas. Because we know, know the director of The Rock Andreas. did that film as well. We're down for some more rockage in our life. Yes, sir. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. And I hope you, you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye, guys. Bye.